Hi, this is Swanet from Nails Stand for Fun. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am super excited because I have some fabulous plates to show you guys. These plates are from Bunny Nails. The owner and creator, which is Dulce, from Bunny Nails, was so kind and generous to send me a lot of her plates to show you guys. Of course, I said yes because I love her plates. I have one plate if you guys follow me. You've already seen a video I made with this plate, which is the Buddy Nails HDB. And I made a video with this pattern right here. And they are beautiful. I can't wait to show you guys the plates. But first in this video, I'll be showing you the Halloween plates. I decided to divide it up into a few parts because I don't want the video to be too long. All right. I really hope you guys enjoy the video. First, I'm going to show you her two newest Halloween stamping plates. Hopefully, you can see it in the video completely. I placed them side by side. She recently released these two stamping plates plus a Christmas plate, which I'm going to show you in another video. Here we have the HDG and the HDH. And they are beautiful. Look how large these images are. So you can see by looking at my nail and the image that it definitely is very large. They will fit long nails and they will definitely fit toes too. <laughs> no worrying about expanding the plates whatsoever. Look how beautiful these plates are. Um, let me know what you guys think about them in the comment section below. Here, first we have the plate G, and I love this pattern right here. Look how beautiful that spider web is. Gorgeous. And we also have bones. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. <laughs> Fingerprints. We have pumpkins. We also have this design right here, which I'm thinking is broken glass, and that could be used all year round. That's beautiful as well. Flames that can also be used all year round. We have bats, skulls, this beautiful pattern right here. If you look very closely, you can see bats and cats. It's super, super cute. And we have a lot of cute little patterns right here, images, which you can put place a full image design first and then you can add this small little guys right here over on the top and do some double stamping with these plates and look at this plate right here which is plate H and I love that brain pattern I definitely want to see if I can do this pattern and uh, make a video for you guys using this pattern let's see how it goes what I come up with and uh, also, you can see the cute ghosts and pumpkins and skeleton hands, candies, beautiful. Here you have an image that's somewhat similar to this, but they are different. And this one, if you look very closely, you will see skulls and goats. And this pattern right here up in the top is great also all year round. I like that pattern as well. That will look beautiful stamped. Um, but different colors stamped at least two times over the nails that would look great and as you see all these plates have the blue protective fill I'm gonna take them off later I didn't want to take them off at first because I don't want to blind you guys but later on when I start stamping you're gonna see the images a little bit more better now let me show you the next two plates now I'm gonna show you the last two plates which she has in her store it we have the HDD plate and the HDC plate and these are beautiful as well different we have different images and they are also quite large as you can see look at the beautiful skeleton I've seen um, girls make manicures with the skeleton applying the skeleton on all the nails of course I think I'm gonna need longer nails to do that but that one also is beautiful and another Manny I want to create is with these hands I've seen manicures with the hands popping out of the grass and those are totally awesome for Halloween very beautiful see all the patterns all the cute patterns I do not have anything like this in my collection 
That's what makes these plates so great. They're very different. Look at this pretty pattern right here with the pumpkins. They are gorgeous. And the skulls. Wow, those are fun. Wouldn't it be fun to make them colorful? Those are great as well. We also have some graveyard here. This one is more larger than this one. But both of them are great. And they're very beautiful plates. I'm going to show you guys how they stamp on my nails and a piece of paper. I wish I had more nails or fingers to show you guys <laughs> how beautiful they're stamped. So we're going to try them out together. I just can't wait. It's raining here, so I hope I don't have any problems swatching these guys out. Because I've always think that um, room temperature and all of that affects nail stamping. But that's me. You know, that's what I think. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully I don't have any problems today. Now let's do the spider web. I want to apply that on my nail. So I apply the polish. Gently swipe. And look how beautiful that looks. And I'm going to stamp that on my thumb. Look how beautiful. Now let's stamp something else. Let's see what else I can stamp. I want to stamp these bones right here. Look how cute that looks. Super cute. Alright, now I'm going to stamp on the paper because I want to leave some of my nails for the other plates. Let's stamp this. Let's try out this one. Look at the bats. Can you see them and the crosses and the cats? Let's see if it hasn't dried out. Look at that. Let's see what else can we try out. I want to try out one of these guys. Let's see if I can pick up two of these guys at the same time. <laughs> yep, look at them. Look how cute. Super cute. Let's try the fence out. Look at that. Look at those lines. Great. Okay, here we have the next plate. This is plate H. And I want to try out the brains first. Look at that. Look at that. Let's put that on my middle finger right there. <laughs> that looks great. So as you can see, they stamp beautifully. That's why I wanted to do this video like this. So you guys can see how well they, st they stamp. And I'm using regular polish, you guys. Regular polish. Remember, when you're looking for a good regular polish, look how beautiful that looks. Look for polishes that are thick and opaque, okay? You want to open them up and you want to see. You don't want to see through them. That's what I mean. And uh, these metallic polishes often work the best, okay? But just look for thick opaque polishes. And I'm sure you guys have that in your collections. It just takes a little time, you know, to sit down and swatch them all up. Let me try one more. Let's try the lettering. Look at that. Great, too. I'm going to stamp on a piece of paper. Okay. Let's try this one. This is just a quick demonstration for you guys. Can you see the ghosts and the skulls? Beautiful. 
All right, here we have plate C. And I want to try out this graveyard. Oops, I waited too long. Let me do that again. Because I, I didn't clean my stamper. Sorry, you guys. Let's do that again. There we go, see? Okay, let me turn the paper around. Look at that. Let's try the skeleton. See how that one stamps. It's a pretty big image. Look at that, look how perfect that looks. Great. Let me put him on my thumb. Look at that. Okay, let's try some of these cute images right here. See if I can pick up a few with the stamper at the same time. Look how cute that looks. With the cat. And let's try one more out. Let's try the hands. I want to do a manicure with these spooky hands. Look at that. So I just placed one. Here we have plate D. And I totally forgot, you guys, when you take off the blue protective film, always clean it up with acetone. And I just take a regular paper towel soaked with acetone and pass it over and clean it off. Because sometimes the residue will be left over in the plates. And, of course, you don't want that. But now let's start to stamp the last plate I have. And let's stamp these beautiful skulls right here. I love this pattern. I don't have anything like these patterns. Look at that. Let's put that one right here. Let's try, I want to try this spooky tree here. Look at that. Can you see the detail in that tree? Let's see if I have space <laughs> on my nail. Look at that. Okay, let's try the pumpkins here on the top. how well that stamps you guys and like I said before I'm using regular polish now let's try this one that has a lot of open space remember with these images with a lot of open space you really want to swipe lightly okay lightly to get everything. Look at that. Let's see what else we can do. Oh, the bones. That's another one. Let me clean that up. I don't know where I put my cotton claw, you guys. It has to be somewhere around my mess. <laughs> oh, guys. Let's see. Let's try this one. This is going to be the last one I'm going to try. 
remember you have to swipe very lightly sometimes try in different directions also look at that wow well that's awesome let's see if I can stamp it and it hasn't dried on there you go wow what do you guys think about these plates I think they're great they stamp beautifully let's try one more out let's try this lady here let's see if I can pick them both up look at that it's awesome okay and there we go what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below remember I will do another video with all the plates she sent me and I will swatch them all up for you guys okay just wanted to do these live swatches for you see so you can see that they in, do indeed fat and uh, they do indeed stamp excuse me <laughs> well you guys I hope you guys enjoy the video please take care and happy stamping. Bye.